Hi guys, so I'm back with another video. If you watched yesterday's video, you realized say my hair was half done. So half here said it pull out and half here said it birdish, but it didn't cut. So I'm gonna wake up early and finish pull out the side here and I already start for the tank weight, take out them look at dirt something here out of the air. So that when I wash it in a nut up, I'm gonna lose enough air. But it's getting pretty late and I still haven't started making the vlog yet, so I'm just going to do this. And then after I put dinner, if I get enough time, then I'll also do a little decoration. Or at least go on to the yard to see if we can find the views and decorate. So this is actually homemade. I like a feel for my ear and put okra, onion, some essential oil, castor oil, and more things that I can't remember in it. And then for this, I take out bread, I'm just going to put this in my ear for it kind of loosen up a little bit and get back some nutrients, you know, anything you can put in your body, you can put in your ear. So, yeah, that's what this is. <laughs> This kind of get a little bit easier because at first, I didn't have a red pan paper, I want to say. That way, I don't forget. And now, I think I'm a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera. Still kind of awkward, still kind of feel awkward, yes, but I'm getting a little bit more comfortable. Doing certain things out of, outside of my comfort zone. Which is exactly why I made this channel, so I guess it's working. Shit, I feel like I'm putting the next up on my talk to my sometime, you know? This meant the ear. The clump, the dirt clump, I did something easier for remove and the ear easier for separate to the enough breakage. So that's what I'm doing now. Like, let's put it right here. So. With this, it just take with the dirt quick and easy. I'm gonna lose a little bit of ear compared to just wetting it and detangling it. But sometimes I really can't bother with my ears still in a leg. When I pull it out and comb it, I feel like I just cream it or cut it. But it's a lovely relationship. At a time, I feel like, oh my gosh, look at my afro. At basically, the front part alone really have the clump, really have the dirt clumps and the product build up. So I don't really need to do much for the back part, just regular finger detail and really comb it out. With a big tea comb, of course. Yeah, right, yes, sir. Shout out to the most on me because my last year, but in front of every year for the first time, but it was awesome to put one couple months protected this time, and we're in weak and fragile, and it just, it was bold straight. Nobody wanted to cut it, but mom said, don't cut it, so I just let it grow a little bit more and then we cut it. It didn't reach more right here, so I guess it's grown a lot. And we're trying to check back again, but I forgot somebody didn't cut it. But then my ear grown out well now because through the party I didn't get damaged, but just my ear grown out well now because the party didn't get damaged, so we'll continue to clip, clip, clip my ear that the party can grow and catch up. It's close now, so I'm so can stop clipping it so often and it can finally get some new growth. Well, there is new growth, just not length retention. When the part on cut, the part where damage catch up with the rest of my ear, then I'll start letting my hair grow out again. This 
detangling process is much easier to do it on damp hair but my ear didn't like really not up and I never want to wet it up and then it can get even more knots and I lose more ears so I just decided to use the product and take my little time detangle after this I'm going to make the product sit for like I'm going to make the product sit for like well not the product but the something will blend up but like well it is a product technically you know anyways <laughs> I'm gonna make it sit for like 30 minutes, then go wash my ear. See, it's not the meat for go cook. Well, nobody cooking, we can't bother. And then we're done up. Now let me just pull this out and rub my ear in a four. Alright, now I'm gonna make the product sit up. Is the amount of ear will lose well for that part here, yeah. but now I'm gonna lose more so yeah. So, right here, I'm literally just washing out the product out of my hair because I'm gonna know my ear suck product and it's a long for wash out. And I'm shampooing my hair to get rid of any excess. And when I shampoo my ear, I kind of comb it out at it and not up instead of just massaging a circle. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I let me stop rambling. <laughs> so hi guys, today I'm making looming. I've never made it before, but I'm not going to cook my rice or dumpling, especially when I'm not fine camera. I'm going have this thing like when talk, when we cook and people are watch it gets shared to spoil the food so I made us avoid that completely and if it's spoiled it's the first time I make it so second time will be better yeah so I am making lumen we put the top up on preheat and the water boil it yeah the can I so I'm gonna go boil the lumen and then do what I need to do If you guys watch my reorganizing video, you'd know that I normally clean my meat, cut them up, and store them before anything. So right now, all thing I have to do is wash the meat and get cooking. And why aren't you in uniform?
So while me didn't do this, me didn't watch a video. And then the man start make the sauce and realize say, I have most of the ingredients them. So what I did know was to use substitutes. Like the one of the things in put, I just put one of the season in it and hopefully the flavor did it. Fingers crossed. But at least I didn't have soy sauce. I'm going to make it low, but I'm going to add the ingredients them some. But that's okay. Eat it as it is. But. The man said, Jay Pasta must use some of the normal and put it in the air frame in order to work out, but let's find out. Well, technically, the chicken must go in the next pot. I'm going to put the chicken already. So, I'll watch one video before I'm going to do this. Oh, well. Learn the next year. I'm going to put a few things in the next year. I'm going to have a little bit of a few things in the They get the color already and everything. Let's make sure something goes all of the sauce. Nobody can tell me that it's not going to taste good. I'm not sure, but I need for flavor barbecue sauce. This a good tops.
thumbnail. I'm just kidding. Okay, taste this. Okay, taste this. Let's see. I'm mean, not gonna tell a lie. I give the. Let's see again. It's an acquired flavor. Yes, that's the word. It's an acquired flavor. Chicken time. Alright, so I'm gonna give this like a 5 out of 10. I'm gonna finish it. Alright, so I would give this like a 5 out of 10 because the texture is there and the chicken tastes good but the loam and fresh and the color did it too. For presentation, let's see, I would give it, no, all of it, all of it is weird out of 10, everything. I'm sticking at my 5. Next time, I get 10 out of 10 because me a chef, I'm a new Latin, I'm a art. <laughs>